Alright, so we are here <coughs> on the multiplayer server and we've got some work done. I I was going to show it in the last video, but the recording was kind of screwed up so I couldn't edit it properly. And so we got what we got out of that video, but yeah, we've uh, we've been up to a lot. We've been doing a lot of work, so first I'll show you what we've done in the end here. So... Obviously, the best, um, the best XP farm is an Enderman farm. It's the fastest. Like, I know the way we basically followed the same design as Panda, but I guess the way he did it was like a little bit more efficient, and he could get to level fifty in under five minutes. But oh, someone's breaking glass. Um, but ours, it takes me just just over six minutes like six minutes and ten seconds to see there it is it takes me about six minutes and ten seconds oh chunk error are you serial okay one sec alright so it takes me about like six minutes and ten seconds oh, nice um, to get up to level hold and turn the volume down to get up to level 50 so that's not bad um, I watched Doc M's tutorial on making it and I followed that setup. So I did it, it exactly like his was. Um, I guess mine's 17 long and Panda's was two sets of 12 long rooms, so 24 instead of 17. So yeah. Um, just like Doc's it, or Panda's, it has. The option to turn it into kill mode so you lower the floor and then when they fall you'll see it sometime soon um, when they fall they die instead of yeah there we go instead of being a one-shot kill but when you raise it up they're back to a one-shot kill so so the best way to do it probably is to just stand there stand here and click and look at them but the way I did it when I got up to level 50 in six minutes was just going or I let it build up for a little while, not long, it took I waited like 20 seconds. And then went around like this, over and over. Or I probably went like back and forth, side to side like this a lot as well. But yeah, that's the that's the Enderman XP farm and it works amazingly. I'm not gonna stay here for long because I don't need XP at the moment. I've done my fair share of enchanting for the last little while. Let's see if we can get up here and get. I don't know why people are placing random blocks here though. Like, I need all my supplies. I gotta take those home. Anyways, um, yeah, there it is. I built it as high as you possibly can build it, and started as low as you possibly can. Um. So it's the most efficient it can possibly be um, at the size it's at. So, yeah. Let's get out of here and we'll go on to the next thing. Alright. So I'm here at the top of my log elevator. Inspired by Zisto. Um, <laughs> but I added some lights so I know when someone's up here. Um yeah so I found I guess my buddy Mark who plays on the server he left me a shrine the shrine of dirty Fargo I don't know what this means but I'm about to find out I don't know where to break looks like I should there's a crafting table looks like I should break here kinda worried oh I guess he just leaves me some supplies that which I, don't, I really don't want, but I'll take all this stuff gladly. Thank you, Mark, for your wonderful, wonderful items. Um, I don't want to break it because I don't know if he wants me to break it. <laughs> but 
but yeah, just thought I'd pop that in the recording because I just found it. But anyways, definitely has well, a lot has changed in a month because when we started, well, we obviously started from nothing, but we went with one idea and then I guess Zio didn't like it. <laughs> So we kind of changed everything in here, but I I like it better now to be honest. So I'm glad he did it. Um, it looks really nice in here now. <laughs> yeah, he's talking about how we had it before. It was all wood before. Um, yeah. The picture I'm gonna show you now not before now um, is I just found a triple triple spawner I found two cave spider spawners and a zombie spawner all together so I'm gonna I, I can't just leave that I have to do something with that so yeah feast your eyes on that um, oh my god of course of course there's a ghast and don't mind the lag in the nether, because... Argh. Oh, you son of a bitch. Die. How did I not get you? Yes. You're dead. You're dead. Give me your tears. Oh my god. There's so much lag in the nether. I don't know. It has to be because of an update. I don't even know where he is. Oh my god. Okay, okay. Oh no, no! Come on, land! Come on! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit, I did not mean to throw that pearl. Throwing pearls in the nether is dangerous, man. Can I not get off of being on fire? I need to get out of the nether so I can pour this water. Man. Oh my god. <laughs> that was... <laughs> oh my god. Wrong word. <laughs> oh my god, that was the scariest thing ever. So glad that I had all my good armor on. It's probably all shit now. Uh, oh my god, so dead now. <laughs> oh, get these out of my inventory. <laughs> Saved by the armor. Oh my god. Anyways, I was saying, don't mind the lag in the nether. Because it's. As Zio was just saying, it's so screwed up. I don't get it. Like, no matter what, it's laggy. And I don't know why. Because, um, all my settings are fine. And it doesn't lag anywhere else but the nether. So, just like, s screwed up. I don't get it. Oh man, I gotta, I gotta temporarily replace this with cobblestone, cause, see, look at that leg, oh my god, it's horrible, I don't even have, oh, are you serious, I don't even have a button, good thing I got a pressure plate, um, 
Um, good thing that this gas tier is still here because those are valuable. Um, did I collect the other one? No, I did. Nice. So, yeah, this looked nicer when that was netherrack, but I think maybe I'll change it all from netherrack because I don't think gas can blow up netherrack. Maybe I mean blow up cobblestone maybe. So, anyways, this is this is my nether wart farm. Although it's so laggy that it's gonna be hard to see. Check it out. Um, I guess I'll do a quick demo now, even though it's not fully grown. Um, yeah. So basically, it's not the best setup in the world, but it works brilliantly. And so they all just get pushed up, pushed down again. And I just wanted to make sure that you didn't have to walk on any soul sand, because that's really annoying, obviously, because it's so freaking slow mo. Um, so yeah, there weren't none of the, basically none of them were grown at at this point, so not gonna get too much from this <laughs> this button push actually I got zero <laughs> that's funny so but they must have not been grown at all so but basically yep that's my nether farm and it does work well when they're all grown and the other thing I'm gonna show in the nether is my blaze XP farm and this is not my own design like another work farm even though I mean most people so many people probably done that design oh my god um where is he she okay 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 I'm gonna get that gas tier because damn it's, it's not easy to get um anyways this is ethos design from a long time ago they're not mad, are they? Okay, good. Oh shit, I don't even remember how to get there, apparently. But, um... Yeah, I don't have the on-off system hooked up. Because... I didn't feel it was needed. Oh, I mean, it's sweet, but... It's a lot of extra work for... For not a big benefit. I mean, when you're in the nether, and over here, it's not a big deal. To just have it on constantly. I mean, if you don't want to hear no blaze, don't go over here. And like I said, don't mind the leg. I can't. I can barely deal with it. So, <laughs> anyways, there's the spawner up there, and I'll put a link to Ethos video, and I'll obviously put a link to Doc M's video tutorial for um, the Enderman farm, and I'll put a link to Panda's video on it too. Um, but yeah, this is his Enderman farm. I mean, not Enderman Farm, Blaze XP Farm, and I don't know why there's none spawning right now. Why? Oh, there we go. Guess I wasn't standing. You have to be standing like relatively close, I guess. Um. Yeah, we'll wait till a few get in here. I've showed this off before in my single player LPs, because I made this a few times. But basically, you press press this button to commence auto crushing to a one punch kill. Then you kill them all, then press this button to reset when everything in the chamber is dead. So I will demonstrate that. So there's a few here right now and some will die from this but I find when you have it on a shorter delay, um, then you need to hit them with a stone sword or, or two punch kill them. So if you want them a one punch kill, you're going to have to sacrifice, see that one died, you're going to have to sacrifice one. So now I can go in and punch them, kill them all, don't get too close or else you will get hurt. And now I just press this button and it is all reset again. So kill them again just to show it one more time. I guess they have a lot of health points so it takes a while to crush them down enough. but beating them with their own materials. Um, so yeah, and what I I basically didn't need this for the XP farm, although I wanted to kind of have an XP farm of, of every type, um, just for the fuck of it, but um, I made it for the blaze rods, to be honest. Um, 
I just love using them as a source of fuel, and they're good for potions too. It's just nice to have a good source of them. So, yeah, it's just nice to have blaze rods in your life. Makes you feel better. I could use all those mushrooms. Actually, I couldn't. I don't need mushrooms. Um. So yeah, I'll be back when I get out of this nether so you don't have to see any more of this laggy bullcrap. So, the next thing I'm going to show is just through this door. And, um, yeah, it's kind of going to be like a s secret room, although everyone's going to see it because I'm putting out this video, I guess. So, whatever. But anyways, you go through this, step on some pressure plates. Okay, I'm going to do that again so you can see better. I just didn't want to be standing in the portal so yeah one two three nice little door there i think it looks really nice and that door was not my design either it was native visions i will link his video for that in the description but it's really simple to, to build and i think it looks really cool just nice three by two door there um and this is another creation not made by me this is CNB Minecraft's pocket sized potion lab. So I will link that in the description as well. But I will show you how it works. So we've got one button here for each type of potion. And then levers here to increase durability, increase potency, um, make it a splash potion, or have a corrupt effect. So let's just try something out here. So. You know, I've been going to the nether a lot, so I'll try, well, I'll try a potion of fire resistance. So, what I'm going to want to do is push that button, but I don't want it to be a normal one. I want it to be, I want it to be a super, super long, super long um, potion of fire resistance. So I pre pull down that lever, um, and then press this button here, stand under here. I guess I had some stuff in there, but yeah, I had some stuff in my inventory, so it was kind of hard for it to work out. But you saw that basically it shot me. What it shot me was these three bottles: nether wart, magma cream, and a redstone. So that is all the ingredients you need. Whoops! Why is it throwing them? because oh, I don't have inventory space but basically that is all the ingredients you need to make fire resistance potions um, so yeah it works for every button no matter what you want to do and I might as well make these now since I've already got the ingredients out just hit that back to reset it um, whoops and yeah, um, I'll be back to show the next thing after I brew these because I don't want to just leave them. All right, so the last, I think this is the last thing that I'm going to show. Well, maybe one, maybe I'll show one more thing, but this is, again, not my design. <laughs> this is Exumavoid's Cactus Farm, and I just added some pixel art, which is my design, onto the edge here, and... See, it's just screwing around my end of pearls. Um, but yeah, I think it looks pretty nice. And I built 10 layers of of his farm up there. And you can, we can get a little look in the side here of what the layer looks like. Looks like that. <laughs> but um, it's fully auto, so you don't need to do any work. You just need to collect the, collect the cactus down here. <coughs> and... We've been collecting a lot, so there's not down a lot, not a lot down here right now. But it has pretty good rates. Um, and if I wanted to have better rates, I could just keep building floors up. But I don't need to because I already have a, quite a lot of cactus, probably like three or four stacks. So um, that should be good for now. Oh, something's happening. Don't die, Zio. Um, but yeah, that's 
that's the last thing. Well, maybe the last thing I'll show. Um, basically, the only other things that have happened have been just small aesthetic changes, which have made this place look a lot nicer, actually. Um, CEO's been working on this. The sheep farm, which is looking really nice. Got both of our colors of sheep in there. I think he finally made it so they can't escape. We were having some troubles with that earlier. Um, but yeah. Other than the small aesthetic things we've been doing, I've been working on my room a little bit, trying to make that look pretty. Um, pig farm that Zio, Zio did. Um, holy shit, that's a lot of pigs. Um, this is Zio's chamber of ores and he will murder us if we touch anything so let's let's go touch some stuff um not really sure exactly what his plans are for this but it's looking sweet so that's a pretty sweet find right there it's, i think there's iron connected to this too yeah back there so I'm gonna touch it man i touched it i touched it what are you gonna do <laughs> um, but yeah, he's just got like a whole bunch of ores marked out here, and I think he's gonna deck them out with them, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what his plans are, I think he might create this into a nice branch mine, I don't know. But it's looking nice so far. I don't know if he's gonna hit me right now. I like his little door here too, looks quite nice. But, I think that's it, unless there's anything else. Just let me check quickly. Right, so yes, that is everything I have to show. I mean, other than I cleared a bunch of space out there to start working on my, my bottom room. That's going to be similar, even though he's not done either. So, my bottom room, I have to work on. Um, I cleaned up up here a little bit. That's not really much to show. But I've got a door here that doesn't look like it leads to anything, but this button opens both these doors, and you can go inside and close them with that button. And it's just, it runs on a supercharged T flip-flop. So, some complicated stuff, not really. Anto helped me learn how to do it, to, to use supercharged T flip-flops, or to build them, I mean. Um, so, yeah, um, that's it. I will see you guys next time. Thank you.